Hey guys, I'm back. Maybe, probably not. I'll probably disappear again. But hey, here we are on MC Edit. We, uh, I've been kind of helping with trying to get it kind of updated here because, uh, well, if you don't know, MC Edit is uh, hasn't been getting updated lately. Code Warrior has kind of disappeared. Here's his old page here, um, and he's gone missing. He's you know, dead or something. We don't even know. So, we've kind of been f trying to get it updated here and see what we could do with it, but we're a bunch of people that barely, I don't know any Python, but I've been helping where I can, and uh, it's, uh, it's going okay. It's going good, but I wanted to get on here and kind of show the issues with it and what we need to do that, I don't know, just the future of MC Edit, because um, it's not... There's only so much we can do without, like, we need to, I don't know, it It needs to, a, a bigger update. It needs a bigger program, or a, a new, needs to be redone completely, like, totally. Because just of, just how the block issues that MC Edit has. Um, and I wanted to kind of go over them here a bit. And so, if you don't know what block IDs are, we used to see these all the time. You see on the right side of this box here is 1 colon 4. That's its block ID. And they're all listed here. So this is what MCEdit used to tell what blocks are what. And a lot of you know that. But they're, they're introducing this block state system. Ta-da! I'm in the same world. And on the right side of the screen here, you see what it is stone and a site. So all those numbers, the block IDs, are going to be gone. They're getting rid of those. They're still there in 1.8, but they're going away in 1.9. So I don't know if it's going to happen in a future snapshot that they release, or the first snapshot they release is just going to get rid of block IDs. I have enough a feeling they might actually do that. So the first snapshot that comes up, they might just go get rid of that, get rid of the block IDs and start you know, just mainly working on the, so they could, you know, mainly work on the new system. Um, and I'm kind of worried about that. I don't know when we're going to get a new snapshot for 1.9. It might be still a ways off, but, uh, we have to be prepared for that. MC Edit is probably going to die with 1.9 unless we could do something about it. Well, Code Warrior not around. Um, well, we need to figure out what we're going to do for map making wise, because it's kind of tricky. Just, I mean, People are saying, ah, oh, you could do everything in creative mode, and it's fine. Ah, uh, MC Edit still has a lot going for it. Like, rotate, and mirror these options. Just, and like, all the filters that you can get. I only have the defaults on me right here, but, like, just a wall of filters that you can do to create crazy shapes and sizes, whatever you want to do with them. There's so much you could do. So many little tools, and we could do more with that, but it's just gotten so unupdated and crappy that, I don't know, we just need more. Like, look at these pistons. I made these pistons. We threw graphics. I tried to go ahead and throw graphics on everything on our little update here, um, and try to at least separate what everything looks like. Like, this has a, this is the prime TNT, where if you punch it, it explodes, but this normal ones playing TNT. Everything else, I even kind of did a really crappy sign texture here. Look at it. We don't know how to rotate or do tops of blocks in this OpenGL that's in MC Edit that they use, but we don't really have an OpenGL guy, so <laughs> these are... we. Ugh, oh, it's, it's, it's just a big mess. We need an OpenGL guy! If anybody knows OpenGL really well, that'd be great! But if we could move away from that, maybe that's even better. So anyway, block states. The thing with block states is not all of them have IDs. Like all of these, we were able to show different graphics for every single one of these, because there's a different ID for every one of these Brails. Like 28.4, this one's 28.3, this one's 28.2, and so on. And they all have block states down here that kind of correspond with them. This one goes north-south, east-west, ascending east, ascending west, and all that. But some of them, 
Oh, actually, it's right over here. We can look at the snow. Snow, we can actually see uh, a differing texture on here, and it has an actual block state of snowy true. Now, that seems like something we could be able to detect and put into MC Edit. Um, and you might be able to even show, like, you know, snowy texture, grass blocks. But, because they are the same ID, this one's 2 colon 0, this one's also 2 colon 0. Both of these, MC Edit thinks they're the same block. So if I, like, copied these and pasted them somewhere, they're the same block. Um, that's all they know. It's just 2 colon 0. Block 0, block 2, which is grass. But, Minecraft can see them differently now. This one gets tagged with snowy true. Um, even if I pasted it somewhere in, uh, even if I tried to place this block somewhere else it, in Minecraft itself, it's not gonna work because there's no snow on top of it. But in this debug world, you can kind of see all the block types. Um, but it'd be really cool in MC Edit if we could see all this type of different texture stuff. There's other things around here. Um, like, god, like all the fire. Let's see, doors. I wish we could see door. I mean, we could probably put a texture to doors right now, because they, most of them all have different block IDs. But, uh, that's a lot of work, and we don't know what? OpenGL, so there you go. Uh, a lot of these, we did put a lot of stuff to them. Oh, yeah, stairs. See, there's five of this type of stair right here. For all this stuff. Um, cobblestone, bottom, east. If I go back into Minecraft, fly over here. Sprint flying is awesome. We can see different block states. These are all... Yeah, you see the shape? The shape changes for each of these. So these are all east-facing stairs that are bottom. East-facing, bottom. But shape straight, shape inner left, shape inner right, outer left, outer right. So we'll, they all have different block states, but they're all the same ID. 670, 670. So could potentially show, you know, the different things there. Um, other thing, oh, one major one with that, that would be really nice if I could show. Like, that's, that's just kind of cosmetic. It'd be nice if we could show it. But one thing we really could show is locked repeaters are a different block state. Like, these two repeaters here are the same ID. I don't know if I can get to the right ones. Kind of tricky to show here, but yeah, 93.1, 93.1. We could show the different directions they're pointing. We can't show if they're locked or not. So you can't even actually tell. So yeah, that stuff, that type of stuff. Black states are are the the wave of the future, and there's uh there's there's something that needs to be done to account for all that. Basically, we need somebody to go through. I hope you can see this. I know, expand it a bit here. But this is a uh, Minecraft. This is like a Minecraft jar. Like here, I just extracted this thing here. You can open it up. We can do the assets, Minecraft. And we need MC Edit to read. Is this the right one? Yeah. We need MC Edit to be able to read all this stuff. If we could have MC Edit, which is written in Python, yeah, to be able to read this stuff, everything in this block states folder, it could just pull all the, like it shows the variants, it shows, well, I need something with a little more to it, let's see, brown mushroom block, sure. See, look, this has all the sides to it, so it shows the Oh, it shows all the mushroom box. Oh, okay, this is the variance ones. Actually, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Models. Here we go. This is what I need. <laughs> uh, planks, activator rail. Yeah, that sounds good. Textures, parent, activator. I don't know. We just need something to... We need MC Edit to be able to read all of this stuff here. And then I could, you know, just use whatever's in the textures to... Like, shows this is bedrock. I shouldn't have opened that. See the little tiny thing over here? Oh, now it opens. Why are you so slow? It could just pull all the textures from a file just like a texture pack. So, 
we won't need to right now in MC Edit. What we're using is we're using the old way. Let me see if I can open it. Train. Yeah. If you recognize this, this is the old way of Minecraft doing things. It just pulled all the textures off a random dock. And this is how MC Edit is still doing it. We need to be able to get away from this method and be able to just use whatever's in the uh whatever's in those folders. Um did I close it? Where'd it go? Here it is. Need somebody to be able to go through and, you know, figure out all these so that my MC edit or, you know, a new MC edit I don't know, something, something. So that's the issue that's the issue here. MC Edit is going to die in 1.9 unless we get somebody willing to do that. And uh, none of us are willing to do that. So um, if there's anybody out there that uh, knows, knows their stuff, we could use you. Right now we're just fixing bugs. We have a wall of bugs. Let me actually open that. Wall of bugs. This is our to-do list. Uh, I've linked it around, so I don't care if you see it. Um, I'm trying to keep it kind of organized. and I'm not much of a programmer, so I've just been helping them organize or doing whatever I, little things I can. So yeah, we have like feature requests, and we have all this stuff. We have minor issues, we have to do before next release. So yeah, we just, we got a nice little group of guys that, you know, whoever's been interested in kind of trying to push things towards it is, you know, just join the group and we're kind of working together to do this bunch of techie chat. Well, it's fun. So if everybody wants to join, help out. I'll put links in the description. Check them out. Um, if you want to, if you want to volunteer for any of this work, that'd be great. So yeah, we need like either like an open jail guy. We need somebody to figure out how to make the code work with other code. To, uh, and we also just have a big dock of bugs that we need to fix, and we're working on that. Like right now, um, well, I'm in this release, 1.1.1.1. Um, yeah, there's a lot of ones in that one. The next release uh, will come shortly, sometime after this video, hopefully in the next couple days. It's kind of uh, it's an iffy release where I need to I don't know. It's changing where the files are going, so all the key bi and all the <laughs> and we're also working on the key key bindings. We're redoing all this um, to be easier to deal with. And oh yeah, we're making like space up. Let's see right now. Space is down. Let's see. Up is Q and down is Z. We're changing that to the Minecraft way just to make it easier on newer people and people to understand when they kind of join and it, it it's weird at first but i've already used to it I'm, I'm i'm back on this older version so i could could do this video because we're kind of we've kind of broke it at the moment of the newer one we're working on but uh what was i talking about oh yeah so q and z right now are what are moving me up and down and i'm actually already used to space and shift we changed it to but yeah break we're moving to c the letter c so yeah, um, so yeah, we're working on that, not all that. So yeah, we need somebody to make the code work. We also could use a Linux guy. We need a Linux release. That would be great. That we, but we need like a Linux guy, like hanging around, fixing Linux issues and testing Linux things that knows Linux really well and can t help us get a build and release for that. Because right now we're just telling them go to the source to download it. And we're already encountering issues with people download from the source in a currently broken state where all the key bindings are screwed up and we're terrible at GitHub because we're breaking the master source. Um, and we just need a Linux dev to just kind of do all that and so we don't have to. But I mean we can. We do have guys that kind of you know have checked the Linux stuff and can do all that. But I need the helpful to have a Linux advice guy around. We have all the Mac guys and the PC and the, the PC, the Windows guys we could ever want. But yeah. Huh. Oh yeah, these are skulls. They're all the same number, so we, I can't actually... Well, actually, no. 
What is this? 2, 11, 3. Why are those different numbers? I forgot. I knew before. I can't. I could at least show what. Oh, they're all skeleton heads, though. No drop false. No drop true. Facing north. Oh, they're just direction facings and no drop. So, yeah, they're all. I, so, I can't improve this graphics any because they're all just the same skull, but all the rest of it's in the tile data itself. Look at my awesome button. Oh, well, that's it. That's MC Edits. That's the current state of it. We'll see you in the future. And, yeah, let us know if you're willing to help. It'd be great. Bye.